And welcome back everyone to more of the Let's Play Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Marathon hosted by yours truly, Mr. Espinoza X. And eight months after the release of Street Fighter 3 New Generation, Capcom released an updated version of Street Fighter 3, simply known as Street Fighter 3 Second Impact Giant Attack. Yes, that is, you know, a lot to say. <laughs> That's a tongue twister right there, to be exact. Um, so this game I never played. Yeah, this is a blind playthrough. Um out of in the anniversary collection, Street Fighter One and you know Giant Attack are the only Street Fighter games that I have never played and stuff. So should be interesting. So I mean, from what I've know that uh, this game, I don't know, it's it's pretty much an updated version of Street Fighter Three New Generations with different you know uh, life bar layout, uh, super art gauge uh, layout. Um, with the addition of new characters like Hugo, Yurian, and, you know, Yang and Yoon, you know, now being separate characters and stuff. And the inclusion, the return of Akuma, this time going back to his roots from Super Turbo and being a secret character. So that's, that's crazy, you know, that they bring back Akuma. And, you know, that's, I think a lot of people, you know, wanted some old, you know, favorites back. And I guess, you know, they included Akuma. So, yeah, there's that. You know, other than that, new characters. This, the characters from the last game are still here and stuff. Um, Hugo. Um, talking about the new characters. Hugo is actually one of the enemies in Final Fight. So, again, they bring, they bring in a character from Final Fight to Street Fighter. And um, Hugo wasn't a final, uh, of like a boss in a level of the game. He was more of those uh, repetition of enemies you would face along the way, pretty much. Along with Poison. Uh, more on Poison uh, later. But uh, uh, Yurian is, um, I believe, the brother of Gil, the final boss of Street Fighter 3. Um, I believe so. And uh, Yang and Yoon are these, you know, radical dudes who like to skateboard and just uh, fight pretty much. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I don't really know much about Yang and Yoon. I just honestly, I, I know that I think one of them is very OP in this game. I believe it's uh, Yoon. I believe so. I don't know about Yang. Um... But yeah, that that's just pretty much it. Uh, they everything else they kept the same, you know. Um, I heard it was a lot more harder. Um, I you know I went through that first <laughs> battle just perfectly, <laughs> no problems at all. Uh, for this playthrough, I will be using Ryu Shinku Shoryuken. Um, I honestly do love Shinku Shoryuken. Um, it's pretty much a more powerful shore you can. Um, he lands, just punches you in the... It's freaking great. Like, he, Ryu, like, Ryu would punch, would hit you in the chin. You know, hit you with that, you know, shore you can. But he holds your, his fist in your chin for a very long time. And then, sure you can. And just, bam, you're done. Um, but of course, if you don't, you have to be up close to the, your opponent. Because if you're not really up close to your opponent, it will just be a very, like, higher up Shoryuken. Just like in, if you kind of use your high punch Shoryuken and stuff. You know, you'll, you know, go soaring up in the air. So that's what pretty much it is. And honestly, uh, be very careful with it. Because if you're going to use Ryu, um, you know, if any other games where he does use the Shinku Shoryuken... Um, if you miss, then you're really open for, you know, a combo. So I do really recommend either, like, if you cannot perform the Shinku Shoryuken that well, then I would recommend going for the Shinku Hadoken in this game or any of the other uh, Street Fighter games that have the option to choose what super uh, super move that you have, that you know, that you could pick pretty much, you know, because this isn't the only game where you could pick uh, the super moves. Um, this game, Street Fighter 4, um, Street Fighter, well, not necessarily Street Fighter 5, because it gives you the option of choosing your, um, of what critical art you could use pretty much, which is pretty much a super power, like, you know, it pretty much, you know, powers up your moves. That's all it is. 
so yeah but uh but i mean in like other iterations of like you know street fighter um the marvel's capcom series or um i believe and yeah the street fighter series and then like super smash brothers like there's a way of doing those moves like you still have the shinku hadouken but you also have the uh, shinku shuriken with you as well and stuff um it's just you have to perform the right combination for it so yeah that's you know pretty much what it is i believe with super smash brothers if you get the smash ball um you have to be up close to your opponent to do your shinku sure you can and i'm just gonna say this right now i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this i cannot i until this day i do not know how to parry for a guy who's in you know very well known with the street fighter series i cannot parry i, I don't know what it is i do apologize everyone <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those that you know i i love street fighter 3 but i just don't know how to parry i've you know for the life of me can never execute it i've looked it up but it's just i don't know i've please don't hate me <laughs> please don't hate me uh you know please don't hate me i i'm i'm just a casual you know i'm just doing this casually i'm, I'm not it's not meant to be an expert type thing I'm just doing this, you know, because I love Street Fighter, you know, I've, you know, had the privilege of, you know, being in tournaments and, you know, knowing so much about the characters, loving the music, you know, I, 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 I'm a diehard Street Fighter fan, but for the love of me, I cannot do the parry moves, and I do apologize, I should have thought this sooner and something, but I'm sorry, everyone, I, I really do apologize. But anyway, here facing off against Ibuki, I also heard Ibuki was very OP in this game too. And I could see, yeah, she was one of the most OP characters in the Street Fighter and Street Fighter 3. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Ugh, man. I, I had my troubles with her, especially with uh, m people who main her. <sighs> I, I, I was able to pull through. That was, that was, that's all I gotta say. So, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> what, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're almost reaching the end of here. But, yeah. But, um,. Sorry, I'm freaking, uh, what was I talking about earlier? Oh yeah, so yeah, for the final smash is for Smash Brothers pretty much. If you want to use the Shinku Shoryuken, you have to be up close to them. If you want to use the Hadouken, uh, the Shinku Hadouken, you pretty much have to, you know, be far away from them pretty much. So that's, you know, how to, that's pretty much how it is in uh, Smash Brothers. And I, I like that feature, how they, you know, give Ryu or can you know these two two final smashes and that's i think that's like honestly very unique and it keeps it true to street fighter but anyway everyone this has been mysteries pinos x saying good night good morning good day i'll see you guys on the next one